In this video, I'll show you how to install Talent on your Windows PC. Uh, for that, uh, open up your browser and type in talent.com. So under that, you'll be able to see a menu called Products. Go ahead and click on, click on uh, the products. So under that, uh, you'll be able to see uh, two sets of products. Basically, the first section talks about all the enterprise uh, softwares. Uh, these uh, applications are available only for the subscription. However, you can still try uh, for a free trial of 14 days. Um, you can still go ahead and uh, give it a try. Uh, but for our uh, training purposes, I'll, we'll be using all the free products here. And these, these uh, products do not have any subscriptions or licensing uh, requirement. And, uh, and again, uh, in this free sections, you will have um, multiple uh, tools here. If you probably notice, Open Studio for Talent Data Integration, Open Studio for Big Data. Uh, there are some data preparation, ESB, data quality, and um, so this is called uh, the Stitch Data Loader. Uh, so go ahead and click on uh, the Windows uh, here. Now the Talent installation um, file is now downloaded. If you probably see my uh, downloads folder, uh, this is about uh, um, 750 MB megabytes. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. Just double click on that Talon. Once you launch this uh, Talon Studio, uh, you'll be able to see the um, uh, wizard here, uh, which will ask for the destination folder, like where uh, you want to install Talon. So let's go ahead and um, type in CC drive and uh, talent folder and click on install and what this is now doing is uh, installing all the libraries jars that are required for talent runtime and, um, and also just as you know uh, talent requires uh, ta Java to be installed on your local computer so make sure you have um, Java installed on it so in order to check how, whether it is installed or not just type in Java dash version so uh, Java 1.8 is already installed. Um, most of the uh, talent softwares, they do work with uh, 1.8. However, uh, with the latest version of talent, it supports uh, Java 11 as well. So if you know, if you want to know how to install Java, I have uh, shooted a separate video. Uh, you can go and watch on how to install Java from uh, that video. Installation is now complete. Uh, go ahead and click on close. All right, now let's go to uh, we'll see drive talent and see if it is already installed. Yes, it is All right, as you can see uh, there is an uh, application here uh, TOS is basically talent open studio data integration Windows 86-bit um, operating system So all you have to do is just uh, double click on it and it will open up the talent open studio and once um, the latest version is 7.3 and it supports uh, even the cloud uh, data integration uh, requirements as well uh, which means you can uh, still develop all the talent jobs on your local studio and you can publish to uh, talent cloud and using uh, the TMZ you can take care of all the uh, scheduling and other uh, parts An the initial uh, first run uh, it takes a little longer uh, than the expected uh, let's give it a second here. I'm going to pause the video for a couple of seconds. Right in the next screen, you will uh, have to agree the license. Basically, go through that uh, license uh, agreement. Just click on I accept. And then uh, this is the initial window. The very first time, uh, it will ask you to create the new project. Or you can uh, import a demo project. Or if you have any existing project from a different machine or uh, some other place you can start, click on this and import uh, that project so for now I'm going to create uh, my own uh, local project I would call it as my local project then click on finish Alright, all the references, LIA libraries and everything is now loaded. It's going to soon start the talent open studio. Oh, 
all right here you go all right so for the very first time it will op automatically open up uh, the resources page go ahead and close it and uh, now this is the welcome screen as you can see you can go ahead uh, um, and take a tour a quick tour of talent like uh, this is uh, this is very interesting uh, and you should be knowing uh, all these sections here because these will be a part of uh, certification exams as well so in this uh, talent open studio data integration uh, application the first section where you see is the repository repository is where uh, you have all your um, uh, job designs folders and jobs uh, are created and you will also have the context metadata documentation and uh, custom codes um, so all this uh, will be available under this section and the next section this is called uh, design workspace this is where you will drag and drop all the components and create your job and then um, you know organize it put some uh, nodes and comments uh, all these uh, things can be done in this uh, design workspace and the next section is the configuration tab so once you have your um, job design uh, for each of the components you can uh, just do a double click and you should be able to set all the properties um, so this is called as configuration tab uh, there, there are a lot of uh, configurations available on uh, the job level context uh, components and the uh, execution part which is run all right uh, the next section here is the palette and this is very interesting and most important uh, uh, section of talent open studio uh, this is where you will have all the um, uh, components related to uh, databases uh, or let's say files input file output file the file management so for now uh, just understand that this is the palette window and the final window we'll be talking is the outline window um, so this section basically lists all the available components so that you can easily see what um, my job has and what is the naming and etc so in this example we have only two components so there's not much useful when you have like uh, 20 30 components this this section of will be really useful uh, to see like uh, what what all uh, components we have used all right that's all guys this is all about installing uh, the talent open studio and these are a uh, few important sections uh, in the talent open studio and in the next um, series of videos we'll, we'll learn about how to develop uh, talent jobs and uh, we'll test and we'll cover some of the real-time scenarios uh, working with uh, various components databases files and some of the cloud uh, components as well so keep in tune uh, subscribe to my channel like and uh, share thank you